what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a special guest with me. If you guys didn't meet him in my last video, his name is Bucko. He's a puppy. He's my puppy. He bites all the time. It's a very, very big nuisance, but that is beyond what we're doing today because Bucko, Mr. Buckaboosh, had a very important job to do and that was picking out mommy's makeup. I really want to show him to you guys, but he's just so bad. Look at him. Ow, that's my neck. Because he bit my neck. I'm sending you to the pound. So what I did was I basically laid out all my makeup and I allowed him to choose whichever one he wanted. We got some funny angles. It's actually kind of like a funny video because it's like less about the makeup and more about just having fun with my dog. And he was actually very cooperative that day. And this is actually the look that I came up with. He made some questionable choices. He made, Bucko. He made some questionable choices, but we made it work anyway. You wanna say bye? Ow, ow, ow. Okay, we're gonna get into the makeup tutorial. Bye. <laughs> Bucko. You wanna choose mommy foundation? Yeah. Did he take? I need this. Thank you. So the first thing that Buckadoo picked is this flower foundation. As you can see, he was quite excited to pick this, and I am very excited that he did because it is one of my Favorite, favorite, favorite foundations. It works so well. I haven't done a makeup video in so long, but I thought that this was so fun because it's like your dog, you know? I do have my eyebrows on, by the way, guys. Just letting you know. Okay, send them in. My baby boy chose my favorite concealer as of now. This is the Born This Way concealer. Oh, I'm sorry about that shadow. That is not nice. I love this concealer so, so much. It works amazing. And of course, my little Benny Bucko, he chose the one that I love the most. So thank you so much, my puppo. And yeah, this is in the color Snow. I'm just gonna go right in and do like what I usually do, which is a triangle under my eyes. And this is not by any means like a everyday makeup look for me. I'm, I'm kind of retired out of the really insane makeup every day. I do usually a little bit of concealer, some powder and bronzer head out the door. Once I have that all blended out, I'm just setting with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Once again, I don't have multiple powders because like, why would I buy? <coughs> oh God, that made it worse. Why would I buy like 400 powders if this is the one that works for me? So that's why Buckaboo didn't really have a choice here. You just had to kind of deal with what I chose. Why am I using this small little brush as a powder brush? Nobody knows. It's working. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> For bronzer, he chose the NYX uh, matte bronzer. This is in the color Deep Tan. And I really, really love this product, so I'm happy that he chose it. And most of this video is gonna be like the clips of him choosing stuff just because I feel like, all right, like I'm putting on bronzer, but the clips of him are funnier. When I show you guys the lipstick color he chose, you guys are gonna see why I'm bronzing myself up so much. Um, he dogged me, guys. He dogged me bad. Decision. No? No. He took both. <laughs> both. He took both. <laughs> Little man decided that he wanted two blushes. 
not one, but two. So he chose This Is Peach Party by Soap and Glory and Rock Tour by Benefit. These are two of like my favorite blushes, so I guess I'll mix them together. But like, for This Is Peach Party, and then Rock Tour, kind of like the same general color idea. It has like that shimmer, and I really love this blush like a lot. Oh sh. Okay, I'm wearing like a bright lip. I shouldn't be putting on so much blush. <laughs> No, don't drop it. What else would my dog choose? Only the best. Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. The best highlighter to ever exist. Like, are you joking? Seriously, look at that wave. It's so nice. I love this highlighter. It's like... Okay, so here is where we reach a little bit of a struggle. Now, when it came to picking the palette, Mr. Buckaboo was already a little bit tired. It was the last thing he chose. So we're not really sure on what palette he exactly picked, but the first one he went for, which was the wild card palette, and I put it in there because I wanted it to be fun. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he chose the Stacey Marie Makeup Artist Be Perfect Cosmetics Palette. Look how colorful it is. Oh, and, and, and. Wait till you see the lip. Like I said, wait till you see the lip he chose for me to create a look with this. I'm gonna go for a monochromatic look if that gives you any hints. And I'm gonna be going in with, first of all, these neutral colors right here, just start blending out my crease. And then with the color Lit. I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna incorporate everything, but we're gonna try to have to make it work. So the first color I'm going in with is called Basic, and it's basically a basic color. Ooh. I'm just putting this basic color all above my like upper crease area. I'm gonna go underneath my lash line with that color as well. I'm gonna take this bright orange color right here, it's called Lit, and I'm using MAC 217 and I'm just gonna be packing that onto my eyelids now this palette is super pigmented but it works really well with kind of like the British style the UK style of doing makeup like the cut creases with the P Louise base or like a very creamy base but if you don't have um a super creamy base on underneath you're kind of gonna get this more muted pigment which I don't mind I really like and I'm not p picking up any more product just kind of using whatever orange is left and creating kind of like flicking motions up and I feel like that just helps blend everything without making it too muddy I'm taking more of that basic color and starting just to blur lines basically making it look a little bit more seamless and honestly with a look like this i'm not looking for perfection i'm just kind of looking for a very blown out very i'm here i have orange eyeshadow on you know like i'm not here to mess around i'm gonna take some of that lit color again and a little bit of this darker brown it's called rowdy very tiny bit and i'm gonna put it right on that corner nothing too crazy i'm not even dipping my brush twice just because I like a little tiny bit of the like definition there without having that classic smoky look. So for my inner corner, I'm going in with this color called Pink Me. It's like a... Don't act like you guys don't know that I lick my brush. It's like a pinky, iridescent, whitish. I'm also going to go into Moony, which has a little bit of a blue tint. So they're kind of like two very opposite. Oh, I don't like the way that looks. Now I'm dipping into the highlighters. I guess I'll, I, I guess that looks okay, right? That looks fine.
So now Buck chose eyeliner, um, like a winged liner or a liner. I gave him two options. So I had one that was just like a shadow stick and then the eyeliner, the shadow stick represented something smoky. He kind of held both of them in his hand. So in his, not in, he doesn't have hands, Tina. He's a dog. He, okay. He held both of them in his mouth. So I did do smoky. So I'm going to do a wing as well. And this is the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. I've raved about this before. I think on IG or something. It's amazing. It's matte. It's black. Beautiful. Don't give me, you guys are giving me, like you guys are really just like pressuring me right now. And it's like, it's a lot. Just give me a second and I'll, I'll do it. Okay. You guys, I did it. I did it. I did it. Look, 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 look. So I just got ready for some false lashes with some IT Cosmetics Superhero Lash. I really like this mascara. I haven't found anything that works better for me yet. I'm not one to buy like a bunch of mascaras at once because like what's the point? Buckaboo. Bucko. I want to show you guys what my dog chose for lashes. Now, you guys remember I had my own lash brand come out of lashes. Unfortunately, I stopped doing that. Um, so there's that. But he chose one of my most dramatic styles that I sold on my website, which is called the Effie. And it is so dramatic. I love these lashes, but girl, oh my God. It's just like he wanted me to look like a clown today. But you know what? I'm gonna, I'll show him. I'll show him that I'm gonna make this look pretty. Am I going to show you guys putting my lashes on? Am I? All right, let's do this. It ain't easy being gangsta. You know what I'm saying? Like that lash application though. Get. So lashes are done. I'm going to go ahead and put on some lower lash mascara because I got to. How do people not put on lower lash mascara? That's so crazy to me. I feel like naked without it. Bucko. Yeah. Don't tell me you picked the bright orange. He picked the bright. Bucko? Oh no. <laughs> he did. Bucko. Hey. Buckaboo. Buck! Buckaboo! Can I have it? Can I have it? Yes, you have that figured out correctly. He chose Lime Crime Suede Berry, one of the brightest orange lipsticks that you can possibly get. And now I have to rock this with a full, just like, orange eye. I thought that by doing a monochromatic look, maybe it'll make it better. I don't, I don't know. I don't hate it. It's, it's good. It's good. We're going to go with it. So that is the lipstick on. I actually, I like it. I don't hate it. I think it looks really good. I actually have a hard time wearing this lip color, but who would have thought a dramatic winged liner with very dramatic lashes and an orange eyeshadow would go perfectly with this neon orange lip. Thank you so much, Bucko. I really appreciate you. Here's just like my eyes closed, like a nice look. Um, I probably will post a picture on my Instagram. If you're not already following me, I'll leave that down below. But how can we end this video without a, an appearance from the man himself? Just so give me one second. Let me go... Let me go retrieve him. If you guys like this video, well, here he is, by the way. I'm sure you guys saw a lot of him. If you guys like this video and want to thank Bucko for choosing such nice makeup for me, then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'm sorry. I really want to show you how cute he is, but he is just so misbehaved. See, he's leaving already. I, uh, I can't. I'll see you guys next time and please subscribe. Bye.